I have beginners, easy, medium, and hard clue collection logs completed, and some of you will be thinking that the next step is elite clues, and you're not wrong. However, after almost two years, I'm returning to hard clues. Why you ask? Well, for one, I actually find them fun, and two, hard clues are the first clue tier that offer you a chance of getting mega rares, including gilded and third age items, which are the hardest collection log slots to fill in the game. I do plan on going to elite clues one day, and I'm slowly working on that now through my usual pet hunting grinds but I can't fully commit to that right now because elite clues are an insane grind in itself. The best rate for elite clues is currently at Shades of Morton using gold keys to open up the gold chest with an average rate of up to two elite clues per hour at max efficiency. Now since I don't play RuneScape, make videos, or live stream full time, my time is pretty limited. If I were to commit to you know doing elite clues I think I could probably average about maybe up to 20 elite caskets every couple weeks which isn't really good at all and certainly not enough clues for a video. For hard clues I plan on camping warp jellies with the new Venator bow in the catacombs of Corind. This is way more AFK compared to bursting or barraging jellies and cost way less and is also very much cheaper compared to opening implings for hard clues and on top of that I can AFK warp jellies with this method while I'm working my real life job. In the last couple of weeks I managed to kill about 8.8k jellies receiving about 150 hard clues plus some dark totem drops for Skatizo, which were free hard clues on top of that. My loot tracker did have a bit of kills on it before the grind, but this is what it looks like at least for the kills over the last couple of weeks of AFKing in the mornings during work. I did average about four clues an hour, which is pretty low, but again, it's cheaper than implings, and I AFKed this during working hours. The Dark Totem drops are nice for Skatizo for guaranteed hard clue drops, and it offers a 1 in 5 chance for elite clues as well. And on top of that, I can also work on the Skatizo collection log over time. Let's quickly go over the drop rates for mega rares for hard clues. The chance of hitting the mega rare table and receiving noted potions is about a 1 in 812 chance, or a 1 in 3250 for specific. The chance of getting any gilded piece is 1 in 650, or a 1 in 7150 for a specific piece. And the chance of getting any third age is 1 in 3250 or a 1 in 42,250 for a specific piece. So yeah, this will take a while, but the good thing is I actually genuinely enjoy clues. Let me gear up for actually master clues because uh, we should, out of all these caskets, get about an average of like, well, if we're on like with average luck, we should get about 15. No, it's 1 in 15 for a master, so about 10-ish master clues today hopefully we'll see wait did i already check there's no master clue in my bank yeah no master clue we good oh yeah if anyone's curious about my collection log it is done it's green logged but this is not the reason why we're here mainly for master clues or for uh for hard clues sorry the main reason why we're here i guess there's two two different reasons i can think of off the top of my head one we have a better chance for master clues, which is 1 in 15 chance to get, which is way better than the easy clues that I was stuck on for like the last 8 months or so, which was a 1 in 50, 5 -oh. So the 1 in 15 rate for masters is better, so I can start working on this log long term. More master clues is always good. But another reason why we're doing hard clues is for this collection log right here. Third Age and Gilded, all the mega rare stuff. This collection log, while getting more master clues, which will eventually give us more chances at the bigger Third Age in the future. Maybe we'll get uh, some some luck. Oh, it's nice to finally get back to hard clues. I actually do enjoy the hard clue tier. I find it a lot of fun. 100k for the first clue, though. 254k clue. These are so much better than easy clues. <laughs> Man, it's been so long since I've done uh, hard clues as well. Like, it's been over a year. I used to be ranked, like, 8 or 9. I'm rank 11 now, which is still pretty cool, you know, being on the first page. But I can't wait to, like, get it higher, for a higher rank again. 429k clue? What the hell is... What is 429k in these items? Hold up. Is it this? The Zami? Oh, it is the Zami helm. Clue, come on, game. Ooh, Bandos chaps, 500k. All right, I'm worried. Where's uh, where's Clue? Master Clue, please. No, okay, not in the bank. That means we're dry.
Yeah, I'm getting super unlucky. I'm dry. Uh, we've op only opened up 35 caskets, but I'm dry two master clues now. This might be a faster opening than I originally anticipated. There it is. There's the first master after uh, fucking like 40 open. Better, better late than never, I guess. There's the casket. All right, 112 hard caskets to go. 6,800 hard clues to go. 200 more for the big 7,000. Oh, there's the master or second master. That's a, that was a lot shorter than the first one. There's the master casket. I was like, what the hell is this? It's a zombie head. Ooh, 36k clue. Okay, that's the lowest one so far, I think. Ooh, Sarah Dehyde Boots. 100 caskets to go. Master clue. I think that's number three. Oh, man, I'm still trying to think. Like, in terms of clues, I already know everyone's answer to this, probably. But for master clues, I'm almost at 100 in the bank, right? Like, I should get to 100 unless I have some bad RNG without getting, you know, masters during this opening. But uh, I'm thinking either opening them up at 100, because the original idea or the goal was to get to 185 masters and then open them. Because I'm at 815, 185 would put me at 1,000. But then I could just do 100 and then do 85 for the one after that, maybe. Just because my OCD likes even numbers. Man, I swear, every time I see these, like, katana-looking things, I keep thinking that, you know, it's like a third-age thing, but it's ne it's never not it's never that. Uh-oh, where did I put the... Put them in the wrong... wrong one. There we go. Ooh, I didn't mean to open up the master... Okay, well, I opened up a master casket by accident. There you guys go. I didn't mean to open up that one. Back in the bank. Where, where the hell did I put the, the other caskets? <laughs> no third age, though, from the accidental master clue. Open. Scam. All right, 91, 91 hard caskets to go. That was a whoops. Now I got to collect an extra one. Wait, how much did we get from that anyway? 400k master clue. That's not, that's not terrible. Oh, no. Noted super restores. That's a mega rare hit, right? Or a miss. That's yeah, okay. That's like our 10th one that we've seen, I think, overall. And like close to 7,000 hard clues open. I've missed mega rares so many times. Oh, well, it happens. I need a restores, to be honest. <laughs> 69 hard caskets to go. Master Clue, that's number four today. I'm still mad that I actually opened up one Master Casket by accident. Sad. There's the casket. Eight steps later. Back to the Hard Clue opening. Only 61 more Hard Caskets to go. Ooh, Robin Hood hat. Whoa, 1.7 mil? That's, uh, that's more expensive than I remembered. They've gone up in price. How many does that make? Uh, that's my 18th Robin Hood hat. I'm surprised that's so expensive now. Yeah, 1.7 mil. That was that entire clue right there. Not bad, though. Ancient Boots, 700k. Take that. Where's the third age? Right here. Oh, really? Super energy noted. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. Uh, that's just, um, oh man. Okay. I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> what the hell? That's how the game's going to troll me? That is rough. That was some good timing though. Imagine if I actually pulled third age. That would have made for an, like an awesome clip, right? That would have been badass for a clip. Not going to lie. It was almost there. We, we had the spirit. We had the spirit. There you are, Master Clue. All right. I'm worried about seeing noted things now, I swear. Another Master Clue. 
That'll bring us to 96 in the bank. We should be at 97 after this one, but uh, accidentally opened one. So that's, whoops, my bad. There's the master casket. All right, how many hard caskets we got? 26 to go. Master clue, there we go. Okay, cool, we got the casket instead. Even better. Now we have 12 hard caskets to go. We'll finish them here at the crafting guild since we're just here. 10 more to go. And look at that, we've done 6,900 hard clues. And we're gonna end off on an uneven 6,909, which I'm sure my OCD will hate. One more casket. Give us at least one more master clue, please. Ah, never lucky, I swear. 6909 hard clues done. I think I'm still going to be rank 11 on the high scores. I don't think that brings me up to 10. I got to reclaim my rank 9 and then get a higher rank later on down the road. And I'm totally going to organize my bank later on. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're new. And follow me over on Twitch. I could be live right now. By the way, here is my hard clue collection log. 6909 hard clues completed so far. Everything is green logged in the regular section. But in our mega rare section, we are missing quite a few third age and gilded. So hopefully we can see that change in the future.